sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you need some water? No, I need to just send to myself. I didn't know this was a comedy thing. Okay, powder me up. Right, send it, send it. I just do not care. <laughs> when I was at high school and I was in year 10, went into the bathrooms and read on the wall, Lucy Blackiston is an uptight, skanky little B word. And I was not uptight or skanky or a little, uh, maybe I was that. I remember. I was lying in bed and a pin had fallen out of the wall, so I scratched my name into the wall beside me. My little brother James was asleep in his cot beside me and mum and dad found it in the morning and I blamed it on James and they were like, Lucy, he's a baby in a cot and it's your name scratched into your wall. <laughs> Happy Chick 101. The first one I really cared about was probably Ariana Grande. That was the first, like, big one, because I don't really track it. I know Dan Levy follows us. I love that. He's so cool. <laughs> panic stations. That was panic stations because that happened within a month. So we went from, like, 200K to a million in a month. And suddenly I was frozen. I was like, I can't post anymore because I can't gauge how big this audience is. But now I'm comfortable and I'm just me again. <laughs> Probably my older brother, Nick. He'd, he'd get me out of whatever trouble I was on. I love that you assume that you're in trouble. Like, yeah, <laughs> if it's an emergency, it's me being in trouble or me putting my foot in my mouth. First thing I saved up for, I sold my mum's jam so that I could buy a pinkalicious flip top phone and I biked to Harvey Norman without them knowing and bought it for $69. I didn't have anyone to contact, so I just would ring telecom and like listen to their plans because I had no one to ring or text. <laughs> no, this is like repressed memory is <laughs> coming back. Oh, so good. 